The platinum print is a photographic process that was favored by many photographers during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The pictorialists, an international group of photographers who championed photography as an art form equal to painting and drawing, used the platinum print as a means for creative expression. The first step in making any platinum print is to prepare the paper with a light sensitive solution consisting of salts of iron and platinum. Once dry, the sensitized paper is exposed to light through a negative. In this case, a portrait of William Willis Jr., the inventor of the platino-type process. After exposure, it partially prints out, forming a weak image. The print must be chemically developed to complete the image formation process. The most common way to develop conventional prints is to immerse the exposed photographic paper in a tray of developer. Once the print is developed to the desired level, it is cleared and washed to remove the excess yellow sensitizer. The process can be manipulated to suit the aesthetic desires of the photographer. Many recipes to modify the process were published in period handbooks and journals. One modification used by the pictorialists was to apply the developer to selected areas of the image using a brush, rather than developing the entire print in a tray of solution. In this example, the photographer used a brush to develop the print on the right creating a vignette by applying the developer only to the central portion of the portrait. Glycerin, used alone and in combination with the developer, was key to the localized brush development of platinum prints. The process begins by brushing glycerin onto a sheet of glass to hold the print in place. Glycerin is then brushed over the entire print then blotted off. Plain glycerin may be applied locally to create a vignette, which results in a watercolor wash effect. The developer is then applied to certain areas, and the image begins to develop. The developer can be applied at full strength or diluted with glycerin to provide more control by slowing the development process, allowing specific image areas to be enhanced or restrained. If one area is developing too fast, it can be blotted to remove the developer and plain glycerin may be applied to further restrain development. If the print is developing too slowly, a stronger developer solution might be added to speed up development. The print is then cleared, washed, and dried. This portrait of William Willis provides an excellent example of how prints that were sensitized and exposed identically can be developed using the glycerin process to achieve any number of unique images. Pictorialist Gertrude Casebeer exploited the use of glycerin development to achieve painterly effects. In her exquisite self-portrait, Casebeer brushed the glycerin diluted developer only onto select areas, the face, hands, and traces of her kimono. In another self-portrait in platinum, Clarence H. White used brush development to enhance the shadows in his artist's smock and tie. Influential photographers Alfred Stiglitz and Joseph T. Kiley published articles that promoted the glycerin process. In his portrait of a Sioux chief, Kiley used brush development to apply two different developer solutions to achieve a watercolor-like image in warm and neutral tones. Kiley's platinum print illustrates how the glycerin process could unlock the aesthetic potential of photography 
to achieve equal status with fine art. <laughs>